So first of all, I would like to thank a number of people here. First, uh, my co-organizer, so Chris and Barbara were already thanked, but Rachel was also on board and Alberto, uh, thank you very much for uh, this uh, collaboration. I, uh, I enjoy it a lot, I, I said it already. Uh, I would like to, yeah. A special thank to, to uh, my team. So my, uh, I didn't have a chance to say it, but Virtus is the name of our team here. Uh, I'm very proud of uh, leading this and I uh, asked those people for some help uh, and also a couple of colleagues uh, from Inri Yaren. So you have, for, for instance, you have Gwen and Hedit. So she, she welcomed you uh, these days. They organized uh, most of the social events and so. Thank you very much, Hedit and Gwen. Ah, Gwen is here. She's always hiding. Um, and a couple, not a couple of days, but maybe a couple of weeks, I asked someone here yeah, who wants to organize this uh, hybridation of the, of, the, um, of the conference. And I thought that would be a light kind of uh, task. It was absolutely not. So uh, Katia said yes immediately. I'm sure she's regretting this uh, right now. So she spent three days in a box. Thank you very much. She was very helped uh, by Remy, who also took in charge the demo. Thank you very much. So I, I just want to say that, yeah. <laughs> Always when I was talking to Katya, she was like, oh, uh, this went bad, this was not good. And this. so I would like to say that I had several comments and maybe online as well, that the hybridation of the conference was technically at the very high level. I agree on this, I'm not responsible for this, so again, since it was a needy task, one more <laughs> applause to this. Uh, there were also Alexi in charge of the website. Uh, who am I forgetting? I'm sure I am forgetting. I should have put the name anyway. But uh, that, that's so thank you all. I would like to thank all the presenters. So I also had uh, multiple comments about the very high quality of uh, presentation this year. I fully agree on this comment. I'm not in, I was, I mean, you were the one uh, providing this to the conference, keynote speakers, whoever, industry keynotes as well. Thank you very much. You can uh, applaud yourself. And finally, thank you to all of you uh, who were there. You make this uh, conference lively, lively and, uh, and, um, and uh, super nice. So thank you very much for being there, physically or virtually. You can applaud yourself. Uh, that's really, no, that's really uh, sincerely that uh, I'm thanking uh, uh, all of you. Um, just some comments about uh, a quick look back into uh, early choices. So multiple people asked me, why did you make this conference hybrid? Uh, that was decided on the very first meeting. We were in November 22. China reopened April 23. Just to remind you about this. Omicron uh, variant was just in China at that time. Uh, first, first detection of Omicron in November 22. So it was not even a choice. It was obvious that we should do it to prevent any situation. Uh, but also the question is maybe should conferences remain hybrid uh, since it looks like uh, things are going better and better. Um, I, my own opinion, I not even talk to uh, other organizers, is yes, because uh, it's, I feel this is more inclusive uh, in the sense that when you submit your paper, uh, your work to the conference, you don't even think about whether you will have the budget to go, whether you will have this will be the right. And there is a lot of uncertainty. So being hybrid is sort of a guarantee that you will be able to present your work anyway. And sure, you prefer coming there. And uh, based on our, our numbers, I would say between 80 and 90% of people attended physically uh, over. So we had about 30 presentation, only six were online and, uh, and, and went very good. So I don't say it's perfect. Uh, I, and I have to say it's a lot of work. But if I were to make this choice again, I would I would take the same uh, the same option. 
But yeah, we try to attract you to be physically here. And for this, we made a couple of decisions that we discussed all together, like having many keynotes. Uh, so we had four plus the industry one, I think was a sort of a high number. And, uh, and I'm happy about that. We try to push for uh, young researchers as well as uh, more experienced one, of course. Uh, we, we had a dense program, but short so that you can travel, uh, not uh, spoiling your weekend in airplanes, uh, or at least take the, the weekend to visit a bit the region. Uh, this is why also we took the Mont Saint-Michel Mont Saint visit out of the program, not to make it super long and uh, because it takes time to go there. Um, and also we managed to people to socialize. So uh, we designed a bit the, the, the conference for students and youngs. And one thing I remember, and I learned it from, to be uh, perfectly clear, I learned it from uh, Ronan Bullix that you never know what, how people are covered in their fees for traveling. So will they have lunch, uh, dinner, etc. So we decided to cover all the meals, for example. So this is a way uh, to really push people to come and not think about yeah, again, if they will have the budget for this, if, if they will have uh, comfortable conditions to be there. I think it's important. And, um, and uh, yes, this is what, so at the same time, we were trying to keep the, the registration fees low. Uh, they were not that low, uh, we are aware of it. As I registered to see Grafeja was the same price. I was like, oh, um, but they cover nothing, right? So, so that's, uh, that's the main difference. And also we try to keep the student registration the lowest. Um, we were a bit conservative with the budget. So if I were to redo it, I would lower it a bit more the registration fees. So sorry about that. Now, next year, MIG. Uh, so I'm talking uh, on, um, on behalf of the organization committee. So they prepared this slide. Uh, for you, so it's all, yeah, there's still uh, some uncertainty into it. But next year, uh, MIG should be uh, close to Washington, Washington DC. And uh, that will be run by those people. So Adam and Funda for a conference chair and uh, Soraya and Sheldon for program chairs. I, I, I guess you all uh, know them well. Um, I don't have any additional information for this. If you have any question to them, uh, feel free to contact them, of course. 